I wouldn't say that. I mean, we played 10 ends and he made one good shot at the end to win. A, a classic Kevin Cooey type shot. Oh yeah, I think for sure we stick with it. We're going to win this eventually. I, I'm not sure losing it two years in a row would be much different than losing it two years, 10, 10 years apart. So. You've been so cool throughout the whole week. Did you kind of just lose your nerve a little bit with that and let adrenaline take over that last shot? I wouldn't say so. I was, I was two feet heavy and to be honest, we were battling a little bit of patchy ice tonight and I wasn't a hundred percent sure how fast it was going to be and just glid an extra couple feet. Oh it's it's awesome especially you know a nail biter like that happy for a few reasons obviously two big ones being winning a briar for Colton and BJ I mean you never know when you get to do that and there'll be briar champs forever and then I mean getting the chance to represent Canada in, in Canada is something I've never been able to do so can't wait just down the road from Calgary. Where do you rank this one Kev? This is, uh, I mean, they're hard to compare. This is up there, obviously, for those reasons. But just, you know, the first-year team, dramatic fashion like that. I mean, that was, I didn't know if we'd made it. I was waiting for, for them to hopefully start jumping around. And, I mean, great sweeping. They, they went the whole way on that. And I don't know if any other sweepers make that shot. Yeah, if you're gonna make it, sure. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, to win like that only gives our team confidence going forward if we're in close games and big situations. I mean, we played a great game, but Brendan just—he never goes away. We had him in trouble in nine, and you know, there's just so many shots he had to be perfect, and he was not—not not really a big surprise. But uh, you know, he's just a hell of a curler, and we're fortunate to end up on top. You must have the new team here. How did this? How did this team grow over the course of this prior? Oh, I mean, it just, it's our first real big event with, with a lot of pressure. I mean, provincials is one thing, but nothing compares compares to this. So, I mean, it can only help us going, going forward. What does it mean to you to join an exclusive club going undefeated at the prior? Uh, I mean, that's something I'll probably reflect on down the road. I mean, I, it's pretty cool, but I mean, nothing beats just getting the win. BJ, obviously this must feel pretty impressive. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I, you know what I mean? It hasn't, I'm still pretty much in shock. Um, I wasn't even sure if Kev's last one there. If I actually kind of thought we were probably hitting it a little bit too thick. Um, so for it to work out is unbelievable, unbelievable feeling. Um, unbelievable week. You know, we didn't lose a game. You know, that's pretty hard to do in this field. And, and just really proud of the guys um, for hanging in there. Through a lot of uh, a lot of adversity, uh, it just feels amazing. You're following in your father's footsteps here too. That's got to feel pretty amazing. Yeah, it's super special. You know, I haven't had a chance to look at my dad's name on the trophy yet, but I'm really looking forward to to doing that and sharing this with him. You know, I mean, he's my he was my inspiration to get into this game, and and uh, you know, he drives me to be to be as good as I can be as a person and as an athlete. And uh, yeah, it's pretty special. BG, you've been playing this game for a long time. 11 years with your previous team to just sum up what it feels like to be able to say you're a prior champion. Yeah, it's just, it's it's unbelievable. You know, I mean, our we went through a lot of heartache, you know, on our on our team there. And uh, it's just so nice to be on this this end of the end of the, the spectrum as opposed to having to watch another team celebrate right in front of me. Um, so, yeah, it's just unbelievable. To do it in Manitoba? Yeah, pretty cool. You know, I mean... Even in the intros there, I felt like I was, the crowd was really behind me, you know, personally. Um, this is yeah, really special. Colton, you got to lift that trophy there. How, how light did it feel? Uh, it wasn't light. <laughs> but right now, right now, I don't, I don't know, it feels so good right now. It doesn't, it's all good. You're just your thoughts right now. You're a Briar champion. You're gonna have your name on that tanker with some pretty historic names. How does that feel for you? Yeah, it's something special. Um, something I've dreamed of growing up, and you know, getting a chance to play in this game, let alone winning it, is unbelievable. And I uh, couldn't couldn't ask for anything else. What were your thoughts like when you first got set up with Kevin here? Obviously, this was the goal, and now it's it's a reality. And yeah. that like, just your thoughts on him as a skip. Yeah, I mean, Kevin's unreal. As, as everyone knows, if there's a, if all we have to do is give Kevin a shot and we're going to win. And it happens over and over and over again all year. You know, playing with this team, we set it up to to do this. And we've achieved it in our first year, which is unbelievable. Um, we all expected it, but 
did everyone else, I don't know, but it's it's un unbelievable. And there's still probably a lot of room for growth too, and I mean, looking forward to Canada here, eh? Yeah, there's so much more room for growth. I mean, personally, I didn't play my best week ever. I, I had a pretty good game in the final, but I didn't play my best week. And uh, looking to improve on that going into Worlds. How has Ben influenced you on the front end? Oh, Ben's awesome. Um, anytime I'm struggling or anything, or just, just teaching me little things here and there, I, I wouldn't be where we are today without Ben either. So.